All right, and run through a riser. So a riser, I hold prow uh, inch and an eighth off the front of the cabinet. That way we end up with a quarter inch reveal um, from the front of the riser to the front of the door because the doors sit off your cabinet seven eighths of an inch, same as your filler. So you end up with a quarter inch at your filler or inch and an eighth off the front of the cabinet. <clears throat> Um, your returns are going to be a quarter inch off the side of the cabinet. So just like we're doing when we're running crown, we're going to run up here and measure all of our pieces. Um, I just go ahead and hold the block there. You got a quarter inch block sitting out past uh, for the return. So we got 46 and 7 eighths. And then you're going to continue to run your measurements all the way around the edge. In this circumstance, I want the riser to sit an inch and an eighth off the front of this cabinet and a quarter inch off the front of this. This is my uh, fridge panel. The door's gonna be inset flush here. So <clears throat> you can either do the math or hold a couple blocks there and get your numbers. And then we got a return Coming along this side, you're gonna need a quarter inch there as well. Um, for this one, I'm holding a quarter inch prow off of here and I'm holding a quarter inch prow off of here. So I can just get my number direct from that to that. And I got 18 and seven eighths. And then for the return coming back, you're gonna be hold a quarter inch off the front the same as your inch and an eighth off the front of the cabinet or a quarter inch off your panel and we end up with a 15 and an eighth there so run down cut all your pieces you put the riser upside down just like we do our crown uh, i put little support blocks in the back here so they got an inch and a half drop in two by four that way when you drop your riser in it just sits square Perfect, same cut or something. Uh, a couple little things I like to do is put a little uh, little notch here uh, on our returns. This one's gonna be dropping in right above that wall cabinet over there. So I'll put a little notch there that uh, just help with uh, sliding it in and you're not gonna be hitting the wall. Uh, when you do that, make sure you're inch and a quarter, minimum of an inch and an eighth, because <clears throat> Um, you don't want to risk uh, having this not show um, on the profile of the cabinet. Uh, another tip that I like to do is mark the front of my um, uh, right. All right, after I cut my pieces down, I like to bring them back up and make sure that our lengths are actually what we're looking for. So I take my little quarter inch block, hold it up there. pretty tight so I see that's gonna work and then we're gonna hold this prow here line up our quarter inch and then hold the block back in here our miters line up good there and then it's hard to do with one hand quarter inch Mm, a little strong there. We might be able to shave a little bit off that. We'll find out after I actually secure this piece. We'll hold this uh, this front one back up here and see if we need to shave it down a little bit more. And that's pretty. That's pretty good right there for the return. Also, throwing it up here it allows you to see if you're running into any issues. For some reason, this one doesn't want to sit flat. So. Got a little extra knob of wood that got to shave off. I ran into this uh, multiple times with these cabinets, so it's something to watch for. Um, also, you get little bits of glue up the tops up here that you got to uh, scrape off to get a tight fit. All right, throw your piece up there. Make sure you're holding that prow correct. We're tight all the way through. I'm going to check that one. Inch and eighth. 
solid on the pre-finished uh, cabinets, cabinets that are painted on the interior, we're going to use a nail gun to shoot up. Or if you've got room, you're going to screw down. Um, cabinets that are like these, we can screw up through because uh, it'll have a sticker that'll match and cover it. Make sure you're holding the same all the way down. Uh, inch and a quarter off the front of that. Um, we're going to drop a clamp in here so we get a nice tight fit. Hold that tight. And hold that tight. If you need to, you can pop the screw up top. Use a little right angle. So like I was saying earlier, um, I was concerned that this one might be a little bit long. And so um, I have this set of riser set and in place and i'm holding this where it's gonna sit and then throw my little quarter inch block and see we're showing it up yeah about 16. so take it back down and shave it hold off on putting your pre-builds together until you uh double check the lengths on them so you can see my panel you know a little gap here making the riser sit above so rather than sucking this piece tight and we end up with a little bit different heights here, I'm going to go ahead and just slide a little shim in right there. That way uh, the heights are held at the same and then we'll just go ahead and pop that gap. When you're pre-building your riser, throw a square on it, make sure it's tight, you're going to end up fighting it a lot less. <laughs> 